Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So in this case we have the KK10S GPS drone, which is 5G Wi-Fi and a 1080p camera. So I've been sent this from Banggood to review. Thank you very much Banggood for sending me this out. I'll have the link below the description of where you can buy this and also the full description of the drone itself. If you do want to buy this, please use my affiliate link because it helps support my channel. So in the box you have a set of pop guards, some spare props, some spare motor covers from underneath that I'll show you in a minute, and a charging cable for the battery. You have the controller, which has fake antennas, but display screen, and you have the drone and the case obviously. So this is very very similar to the JDRC, I can't remember which model it was that I reviewed a few uh, weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago now. Very similar indeed, it looks different on the top but apart from that it looks very similar indeed. So this is the drone. So the drone is a 1080p camera which is controllable by your hand, so you can move it up and down, it's not a fixed lens but you can't do it from the controller. It has a proprietary battery. You'll see in the description what size this battery is because I can't remember to be honest with you. I had 12 minutes flight time out of this when I've just flown it now. And it was it was fully charged at that point, so yes it was. And it, that was it landing at that point. It has coloured LEDs on the bottom, I'll show you that when I start it up. And there is your antenna for your Wi-Fi. So like I said, it's a 5G Wi-Fi. I've been using this on my iPhone, so you need to make sure your phone does support 5G. This is the controller, so the controller has a screen. It doesn't actually show you anything until you've bound it up, so let's bind it to the drone. It's flashing crazy at me because I haven't got any GPS or anything else in the side of the house. So on here you've got, I don't know if you can see that, let's get, see if I can get that close enough to focus. So you've got GPS, it says on. If I hold this button in for three or four seconds, it's going to go GPS off and just put it into altitude hold mode. On the other side you've got, it does say mode 1, it's actually mode 2, the transmitter. Top corner, if you can see that flashing on and off, the 7.5 volts is the voltage of the TX and 4 point something volts is 4.2 is the voltage of the drone itself. And then at the bottom you have your flight positions, height, etc, etc, etc. Really nice to be fair, little display. I do like this control to be fair, I forget the fake antennas and I forget the horrible phone holder which is the type that come out here. I actually do like it, it flies really nice on this controller to be honest with you. You've got headless mode on the other side, return to home and you've got an emergency stop button. So I've got some flight footage coming up of this, you'll see me flying it around and some camera footage. The camera records directly to your phone as this has no SIM card, uh, sorry no SD card SIM card, it's not a phone, there's no SD card inside here. Also there's no optical flow or anything like that, it uses its GPS position to hold itself. What I did find, when, I took, when, you, take, when you take off it's going to drift a little bit and it takes a couple of seconds, I just went up and down a couple of times and it locked, but it takes a few seconds to lock, oh I just set, did that set off and I didn't have enough satellites. So it flies like an absolute dream, it flies really really nice, it's a beautiful little thing to fly. You'll see them from the video footage of me flying it around as well when I was not using the camera, I was just flying it low down to the ground. It doesn't drop altitude very much at all, you can fly this like a little bit like a sport flyer. It's not the fastest thing in the world, don't get me wrong. And the phone didn't break up once. So I had no break up on the phone, you're going to see from the video footage, because that is recorded to the phone, if I had break up you see it on there. I don't recall, I haven't reacted to the video yet, but I was watching the screen virtually all the time and I saw no break up. You're going to see it's got flashing lights underneath, that will be constantly until you calibrate the compass, you have to do it every time, it's simply a matter of doing this, it will beep and the lights will go solid, if you had it beep, head down, it'll beep again, there you go, and you've got flashing blues at the back, and that's because I haven't got enough GPS signal at the back to let me set off. But if I put this into, take that off and put it into non-altitude mode, I can now set it off. But you have to calibrate that compass every single time. 
it's not really a major issue and to be fair you see how long it took me obviously do not do that inside do that outside in a open space so I'm going to show you the app it runs on so let me just find the app for you and connect it up so do we need to connect it to Wi-Fi you should find it can you imagine so got so much in here with Wi-Fi so you're looking for VS 5G GPS 1080p so the image comes back from a four and a half checked it and it it is actually 1080p and its bit rate's about 10 meg so it's not the best in the world but you'll see from the video it's not that bad the drone's at quite a reasonable price it is cheaper than the JGRC version and this looks a bit better because of the carbon fibre top so once you've got that the app you need to go into is VS GPS if you can see that <coughs> excuse me hit learn more and it's going to let you into the app so there you go so there's your app a little bit of lag as you'd expect but not too bad the screen clarity is good if you can see how these let me just zoom in on that there you go and you can see the screen clarity is decent it's a typical like gps app down the bottom you have your position of your craft and up the top you've got all these different settings you've got return to home take off and land all of these are all you've got follow me mode which i didn't test on the video but i will probably test in another video later on um, return to home worked fine and then you've got waypoints etc etc the map actually works and actually works right which is a novelty for one of these toy drones to be fair you do get some chinese writing on the screen but it's normally a cancel button so that's the app and you've seen the quality of it so the quality of the app is important because that's what you're getting the recording back to so for me it's a little winner it's not got the best camera in the world you'll see for yourself on the footage but this is under 70 quid so it's a 60 odd i think it's 61 quid or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head GPS drone with a 1080p camera and it flies really nice with a decent flight time so yeah highly recommended for me I'll leave you some video footage of it flying or some video footage from it from the camera and have a fantastic day thanks ever so much for watching so this is the flight footage so I've only got a short flight footage you can see how stable it looks locked in when it's hovering but it's too small to film with my GoPro to be honest so I've got some limited footage you'll also see me flying it quite low to the ground just having a bit of a mess about with it to show you that it is quite locked in and you can fly it quite fast uh, and then you've got the video footage coming directly from the phone so the no SD card as I said earlier records to the phone and the footage doesn't look half bad to be honest I've seen far worse and it certainly looks better than the JGRC that I reviewed not long ago